Steven Strasburg last night mowing down Norfolk six innings of no hit ball, struck out seven, walked one. And this is the top pick of the 2009 draft. And so far, he's been untouchable, in both in double-A and also in triple-A. And it's a matter of time, Ray, until he gets up. And I thought maybe tonight you can take a look and see what makes this guy so tough. He strikes out two of the three batters we're going to show you last night against Norfolk. First of all, Jeff Salazar. Now, these are guys, these guys aren't slouches. These guys have been in the major leagues, Ray. Well, they have. Salazar, 150-68 at major league. Uh, games, but fastball blew him away. That's that's uh, either a changeup or a fastball that got away from him. Nice running changeup at 89 miles an hour. He threw 98 last night, 97, and that's a yacker, ladies and gentlemen. Slider, middle of the plate, down and in, no chance. Misses that ball a good five inches. That's how quick and sharp that break is. And he's facing Josh Bell. Bell did make some contact. One of the few guys that did. He was the Orioles' number two pick by Baseball America a couple of years ago. Yeah, and one of the top ten rated minor league hitters over the last two years. So this guy is no slouch with the bat. None of these guys. He's a four-hole hitter in this lineup. He gets a curveball right there. And that's what I see that is so different, Strasburg, than anybody else. He has the ability to throw a curveball or a slider at any time, Johnny, for a strike, but it's devastating. How about that juice? 98 miles an hour, up and in, comes back with another breaking ball that he just misses away. Then now he's geared for the fastball, and watch what happens. Way late, fouls it over the dugout. That's about as late as you can get. Then geared up, gets himself started really quickly, barely nips the ball on a 89-mile-an-hour sinker. Then he gets the fastball, 87. And this is a guy cheating, knowing that he's got a great fastball, and he pops it up down the third base line. So overpowering fastball, we know that, but the hitters are not picking the ball up out of his hands. And hey, how can you? When you throw a curveball that's a yacker that goes like that, and then a slider that goes like that, and then the changeup that fades, uh, I will go on record as saying, I have not seen a guy this young throw this many strikes with that many pitches and just overpower people. I don't think it matters if he pitches in Little League, college, AAA, AAA, or the big leagues, or in an all-star game, that you're going to see somebody hammer him. He throws the ball too hard, and he's ready for the big leagues right now. I know that they could probably wait to June because of the arbitration situation, but my goodness, he's ready right now for the big leagues. I don't know what you're looking for now. now is, there, is there a tendency? All the national fans are asking the same thing. When are we going to see Steven Strasburg? Well, does this affect Mike Rizzo's decision-making as he looks at what he's done so far? Two AAA starts, three AA? Probably not. I think that they have a game plan that's going to be five AAA starts. Uh, the best that I've been able to tell June the 1st is when he would be eligible for arbitration. Right. And that way they'll get him for another year without – having to pay all that money. So I'm thinking June the 1st, a monetary decision, because if you watch it the way he throws, the way the ball comes out of his hands, and the way hitters react, he's ready right now. So the only reason to wait is for a monetary reason. They're not working on his slide step. They're not working on his delivery. Uh, I mean, heck, in the last two outings, nobody's touched <laughs> Nobody him. And he's, touch facing, him no. and he's facing the best hitters in the game in AAA. And these guys, a lot of them, can hit better than guys in the big leagues. They're just in AAA because they can't play the other side of the ball. He struck out seven batters, seven Norfolk batters last night. The next guy is one of the seven. Uh, take a look at this in the fifth inning. Michael Aubrey goes down. Yeah, 96 mile out fastball. Can't even swing at it. First pitch. You know, you've got to be looking for the fastball, but hey, when you got a yacker like that, again, middle of the plate, strike, and it turns straight down. Then he gets 0-2, got no chance getting to the fastball. Now what are you going to do? You don't know what to do. Breaking ball, he checks his swing, doesn't call it, comes right back with... It again on a fastball inside part of the plate. And now you've seen 98 and a hook. What do you look for? Fastball away. This is the only time that he, he really went to a three ball count that I saw. Fastball down the middle, can't catch up to it. And anytime you see fastballs down the middle and nobody hitting it fair, oh my goodness, mommy, mommy, curveballs in the air, can't hit it. That's when you call home from mama looking for some help right there. Now, Drew Storen also came in last night. He went one and a third. He allowed only one hit. They're both going to be here before you know it. We'll have Storen out of the bullpen and Strasburg starting. And Robert Andino, he's got some major league experience as well. He couldn't get to Storen. 
Well, I'm glad we're talking a little bit about Storm because he's only throwing 94, Johnny. And only 94. Only 94 yeah. with a left-handing turning slider. Uh, here's the fastball, 93 right there. Whoops, he lost a mile power. And he comes back with a slider right there, little hanging, more of a curveball type. Then he flattens it out and gets a check swing. Uh, on the outside part of the plate, then he comes back and puts him away with a slider starting on the outside part of the plate, going down, shows you the strike zone, dives out of the strike zone, and and uh, just unbelievable. What do you think about these guys, Johnny? You've been around a long time. We talk about it all the time. Have you seen two better pitching prospects come along? No, I have not. No, no, I have not. It'll be just a matter of time, like you say, in June. We'll be packing the ballpark and watching a couple of guys who will be with this ball club for a long, long time. You're the one that usually asks me a question, but when you broadcast the big league ball games and, and you saw the Dean Chances of the world that were really highly touted, David Clyde with the Rangers coming up as the number one draft choice, uh, did anybody no ever one, impress you? This, no, no one like this. Maybe Burt Blylevin when he first came up. As Burt a rookie, night, what, 19 years old or so? Yeah, and he's, he's, borderline, this, he's borderline Hall of Famer, but Burt didn't no, throw 98. No, no, he did not throw like that.